Master. It's a yearly program that started in 2017, 2018 with the aim of uh, granting to students uh, an education focused on uh, new technologies. Today, the key word in terms of technology is automation, meaning more data, more computational power, and clearly less human oversight. Those are the challenge that we'll address in this master. The initial idea of this course was really to fill a gap in the legal education because within the traditional legal courses there isn't time to deal with the innovative technologies and so the idea was creating on top of uh, the traditional courses of uh, law something which really could prepare students for this new area of technology and understanding the legal challenges that are posed by new technology. The goal of the postgraduate master is to try to give a deep knowledge to students coming from Italy, also from different parts of the world. This means a global approach with great faculty coming from um, Europe, but also from outside Europe, in order to basically give to those students the basic of law and technology. The aim of the course is uh, giving to the students uh, the tools to tackle new technologies, uh, to understand which are the relevant regulations that apply to technologies that are very complex. The program is distinctive for its combining academic rigor and practical activities. In this way, students have the opportunity to learn both from academic and high-level professionals in the field of law and technology. In the classroom, we have lively interactions since we adopt a Socratic methodology. Students meet with professionals through internship, seminars and experts extracurricular activities. We also offer clinical works that give the opportunity to the students to have end-on experiences and learning by doing. I think that one of the most peculiar characteristic of the course is first of all the multidisciplinary approach. Basically many fields that are combined, constitutional law, private law, corporate law, intellectual property law, robot law. So what is important is a comprehensive picture. It is the only program at the moment in Europe that offers this, I would say, horizontal dimension and not only vertical. The program is structured in one year or three years for the part-time version of the program for professionals. We also give a splendid opportunity for elite students to spend six months at Bocconi and six months in London thanks to the dual program that we uh, created together with King's College London. The dual program is uh, a new addition to our master. It's together with uh, another prominent university, King's College London, and uh, it is organized in this way. The first semester the students are here at Bocconi, and in the second semester they move to London and they fulfill the second part of the course. At the end of the year they're going to have two degrees, one from Bocconi and one from King's College. The study plan includes in the first semester core courses such as Introduction to Economics of Internet Law, Fundamental Rights in the Digital Age, Intellectual Property Law and Data Law. Whilst the second semester gives the opportunity to the students to select the topics that they are mostly interested in, such as cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, blockchain and fintech, digital sustainability, and digital markets and services. A 
LLM candidates need to have a law degree or a degree in a related field such as economics or political science. We're looking for students that obviously are very curious for new technologies and uh, that want to learn more. There is not uh, just one specific uh, profile. There are ingredients that help in this cocktail. The first ingredient is motivation. The second ingredient is to be able to work in a team. The third ingredient is to be really uh, passionate about technology, but at the same time have a solid, I would say, knowledge of the legal dimension. And the fourth ingredient is clearly to be able to change ideas in relation to the new inputs that will come during the program. The ideal LLM candidate aspires to excellence. The ideal LLM in candidate need to be forward thinking, curious, and of course, they need to have a deep interest in law and technology. They should combine a strong academic background with strong motivation to work in an international environment and proactiveness. Many, many different opportunities arise after the master. We can think about traditional lawyers that enhance their capabilities in the field of technology and so they have something more if they re-access the market in traditional law firms, but uh, also the possibility of working as compliance experts in areas that are today uncovered. It's clear that uh, those students uh, invested uh, money, energy, time with, the, with one goal, to find a good job. And I think that there are three main angles. The first one is today there is a great request coming from law firm in relation to IT departments, AI departments and media departments. And this might be the first, I would say, part. The second is legal counsel of, a co of companies. Now companies are looking for enhancing their own legal office in relation to the new technology challenge. And the third one is why not international organization. There is now a great dynamism in relation to the changing role of legal professions. I would say that the classic idea of the lawyer, of the law firm, as it was 10 years or even five years ago, is totally dead. Why? For the pandemic, but also for this acceleration of technology. Meaning, today, what is very important is not exactly to work, you know, 10 hours in a law firm, uh, but uh, it's important to have a group that might be also totally disconnected from a geographic point of view. One in Madrid, one in Varsa, one in Rome, but to create a group that can work on different matters very quickly, at the same time very in-depth, and with a great conversation with technology people and business people because what is important in a company today is to have a unitary vision about how technology will shape the business model of the company. As a director, if I have to pick three different uh, words, I would say, first of all, courage. We don't have to have fear about the new technologies, what will come, knowing the legal landscape and how it evolves is, is a very good way to tackle these uh, new technologies. Then I would say openness, because uh, you are going to encounter new things, new technologies, but also to work together with persons of other cultures, especially in the dual program, you're going to be in two different universities and two different cities. And finally, disruption. We know that these technologies are disruptive. We also want to be disruptive in legal education in changing a bit the way in which the legal matters are taught and giving to students really the possibilities of catching the best opportunities on the market. As an alumna and the current coordinator of this program, if I would summarize it in three key words, I would say innovation, internationalization and future. If you ask me about three words, 
that can in a way characterize uh, this uh, master, I would say global dimension, because there are students coming from everywhere in the world. Secondly, a multidisciplinary approach, it's only a part of the bigger uh, and more interesting cocktail. And third is challenge and curiosity, because uh, it's exactly those two ingredients that makes the difference in the future. Mm -hmm.